Well, you know, we were on the road. You know, he, he varies his first pitch. I mean, I had no problem with the first pitch being fastball. I mean, you know, he throws the first pitch and it's a breaking ball and it's off the plate and he falls behind and, you know, I, I, got, I have no problem with it. I, I haven't seen where the location was, but, um, you know, when a guy like, uh, with, I'm sure Castro was looking to get something to jerk, he hits it right down the right field line once in a while, he just, it's the game. Montero, was that what you guys were looking for this whole time? Well, you saw how effective his secondary stuff is. I mean, we had heard his changeup was outstanding, and today he showed it. I mean, he showed it, great use of it, great location with it. Um, I thought he pitched an outstanding game. It was really good for him to, to have a game up here where he knows he can be successful. I guess piggybacking on that, uh, if DeGrom does come back to the rotation and Montero spends a little time in the minors before returning, is this a good send-off for him so that he knows he can succeed here? Yeah, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. It's, uh, I mean, he's he, no matter what happens here in a few days, certainly he's got to be very happy with the way he, he threw today and, and his confidence has got to be pretty high. And just, we didn't get to talk to David before the game. Are you confident this was confined to just today or this might Not later? really. So you think he's sore enough that this might linger into tomorrow or whatever? Possibly, yeah. Chief's next. Did you see some of the things that, that him and Dan were talking about in that bullpen session, like go show through today? Well, I think what they really worked at, number one, was, you know, again, the reports were that, you know, his secondary pitches were pretty, had been pretty effective, and we haven't seen that here. And so I know that they worked hard on, on the changeup and the use of the changeup. Uh, he threw some breaking balls in the first couple innings that were a lot better than the ones we've been seeing. So whatever they did to work on that pitch, I thought um, he, he you put it to use today. Yeah. Harry, it's fourth game in a row with four hits or less. What are you seeing from your team offensively right now? Not much. <laughs> I'm sure. You know, we, uh, you know, we're not swinging very good. Uh, that's pretty much the basic. I mean, Jake was very, very good today. The cur his curveball was tremendous, um, which we knew he had going into the game. And you know, you just gotta you gotta battle him. You just you, you know, again, it sounds easy. It's harder to do when you're in that batter's box. But, you know, when you got two strikes and you know that guy's got that kind of breaking ball, you just got to be able to fight it off and not worry about trying to kill it. You know, just try to put it in play or follow it off so you can get something else. But um, he made pitch after pitch with it, and we didn't do we – haven't, we haven't swung the bats very well this week. Did uh, Murphy look particularly frustrated to you? Today? Yeah, I, I mean, there's no question. I think Dan's getting tired. Um, you know, I, I got to get him a day off here. Well, with David out, I hate to have them both out of the lineup at the same time. So, um, but I've got to, I got to do so. I got to get Murph off his legs. He's, he's getting tired. You can see it. Next, yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, with Montero's high fly ball rate, uh, it seemed like today they weren't able to hit that many balls that hard off him. So, what was really working for? Well, I think his fly ball rate's been high up here. Yeah. I don't think it's high in the minors, you know, and that's that's why we got a little frustrated with what we what we've seen because that's not how he pitches in the minor. Like this guy's uh, been a ground ball guy pretty much his whole minor career, and then he comes up here and we see a lot of fly balls. But I think today, because he used the off speed stuff, he got some guys out front a little harder to hit the ball in the air, um, and I thought he threw much more you know effective, much more with it, especially you know even his fastball. Uh, I thought he threw some strikes with it once, because once they started going up, they're looking for some off-speed stuff. He snuck some fastballs by guys that he hasn't been doing. All right, you mentioned earlier the, uh, the breaking balls in the, the first few innings. There was a, he seemed like he had like a tight slider. It was really hard. So how effective was that, and how, how has he developed that? Well, again, we've heard he has it. Now, the ones we've seen here have been kind of getting me over you know, that tumbling breaking ball. Today it was much tighter. Much better depth to it, um, much better location to it. When he missed, he missed out of the zone, not in the hitting area. Uh, so I know that that's something I'm sure that they worked on the other day that, uh, again, helped him out.